All images begin in mirrors and end inside our subconscious. All conscious mirrors crack and cut. Seat blood and stain our dearest outfits. Sitting in one position, head crookedly balanced on our knee, the muscles tremble and shake involuntarily. We are left physically and mentally corrupted near it oh the mortality we are trained to fear and ignore. To encase in the concrete of acceptance by our peers where it can do us no harm. In describing society, its behavior, its grandiose stupidity we can be motivated by compassion and despair colored by not a little sarcasm and cynicism. Yet in every picture there is a nervation and texture that rely upon a resented caring for its composition. Framed by our own paranoias, framed by conditioning, framed by false witness and the theft of all pieces of silver, we kiss the cheek of the land that bites us, receiving in return nothing. Butter nothing is why we came here, nothing is what we so awkwardly strive and fight for. Nothing is our very precise confrontation with form and reason. It's easy to forget nothing and hard to describe it. What was it the old slug breeder in the mud once said in a moment of lucidity the expression that there is nothing to express, nothing with which to express, nothing from which to express, no power to express, together with the obligation to express creative action, destructive action to express a perception of the weird phenomenon of being alive tries to illumine, clarify and describe some part or parts of human experience, it tends to achieve long-term relevance to individuals coming into contact with it by trying to grasp, or even form, the values that guide that experience in a given age, or in tis case, sector of time. And whilst time is that which ends culture, for better or worse, is that which does not. And thereby lies the endless trick. Unlearned and unsung denying explanations but are avidly seeking them. The mirror receives our staring gaze and we melt quite gently and sink away leaving a smoky, cloudy effect, like bleach spreading in water. To cleanse our guilt we must describe our fate, objective war zone correspondence using the oral language of everyday life to define our subject. Shattered or not our message remains neither fixed or dogmatic, merely frozen moments of a deeply personal interior reflected outwards into every living room that hangs this sheet of magic upon its danny wall. For a day, or forever, it makes no difference. True value never changes, remains in the only real sense, constant, because only time has a constant value, and time is the medium of art. Nothing is more real than nothing. Human experience is, unfortunately, butter stimulatingly, the experience of nothing and the only reality it knows is the inability to interpret itself and its mythically inherited structure. After the accumulation of too much history we have lost our innocence, we cannot easily believe in any explanations. We describe rather than feel, we touch rather than explore, we lust rather than adore. So there you are. Or were. So there you are. Or were.